Welcome to the Green Barn. I'm Steve LaRue and this is Ken Taylor. We're shooting this video today to tell you a little bit more about ourselves. The, uh, the operation's been in existence for over 30 years. Uh, Ken started it in his backyard, which was an acre, back in the mid-70s. Um, and then uh, he probably incorporated over 200 varieties of uh, apples, nuts, pears in that acre. Um, people used to always look at him like he was an absolute madman when they came over to visit. Um, the reason I know is that uh, when I was uh, 12 years old, I moved here. Ken is my stepfather. And since then, we've, uh, we've worked alongside together on a variety of projects. But not till three or four years ago did I come back to the farm full time with my family um, to change my lifestyle. And did I realize what Ken had really accomplished during those 25 years. Um, I came back to find the yard filled with delicious red plums that were resistant to black knot, um, pecans that grow here, uh, mulberries that were supposedly zone six or seven, um, kiwis. And uh, I mean, we're going to go on a tree tour uh, on the next video, and you'll be able to find that uh, when you look at uh, what you didn't know you could grow. Um, you'll get to taste uh, or you get to take a look at at me tasting kiwis, um, heart nuts. Um, what other varieties that are, what's the kind of other kind of stuff that you have here that people don't think oh. we can grow? Oh, all kinds of uncommon stuff. Uh, seedless table grapes, uh, chums, which are cherry plum crosses, uh, apricots, uh, peaches, uh, uh, meddlers, uh, persimmons, uh, pawpaws, and it goes on. And, and don't, don't think you can't grow it here. And that's what we're trying to, we push the envelope constantly. What we're trying to show people is that all this stuff grows fantastically in our area. And peaches are actually one of our biggest new surprises. We're getting fantastic crops, delicious fruit, uh, basically untouched by uh, insects, all grown organically right here in Montreal. So anybody who is in zone four or warmer can guarantee that they can grow peaches. Um, so what we want to do is give you as much information about what we do and how we do it. And um, another thing that I think we'd like to touch on is uh, that this is a family run and operated business. It's not a big business. Uh, we don't have 20 people behind the scenes uh, weeding and, and working, you know, there's no uh, imported labor. Our employees are me, my wife Robin, Ken, my mother Lorraine, um, my uh, little brother Nick, or Nicholas, <laughs> and, uh, and my best friend Adrian. That's it. That's the whole staff. And out of that we make it work. And we also can teach you how to do the same thing, which is why we're hoping by showing you this video you'll actually see, because seeing is believing. Um, when we take you on the tour you'll also uh, get to see some of the techniques we use, some of the systems we use. Um, that Ken has come up with both for propagation, for weeding, um, what, what other types of things do you think we'll be able to show them? Labor saving uh, methods using plastic culture, also uh, uh, making sure that you get fruit to mature at different times of the season so you can have a longer harvest. Also we're uh, very uh, lately we've been getting a lot of farmers looking for alternatives to uh, traditional milk and dairy and uh, beef farming so we have a lot of ideas where they can uh, do profitable crops uh, with the minimum labor. Yeah that's exactly it um, and I think another thing that uh, we'd like to touch on is that uh, people talk or I'd like to touch on I don't know if Ken does <laughs> but people talk about sustainability all the time and um, obviously in this equation Ken is the farmer research and development mad scientist and I'm uh, the business side of, uh, of the business. And my sustainability is financial sustainability. If you cannot make money on your farm, feed your family, take care of everybody without working ridiculous hours and coming home without nothing, then it's not sustainable. I don't care how green it is. It just doesn't make sense. You have anything you want to add to that? No, that pretty well <laughs> says it. The most sustainable thing you have to worry about on a farm is the farmer himself. If he doesn't make enough money to uh, 
sustain himself in a reasonable quality of life, he might as well change what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think that um, that uh, you guys will be able to um, go through, and we're going to do some short videos, uh, some on our products um, and some on our techniques down the line, and hopefully some propagation as well. Um, you'll be able to learn a bit more, and hopefully that'll help you and let you know a bit more about who we are. Um, I hope you enjoy the website, the videos, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon.